Hayes and uh, Pat Cron and and Nace Jordan and these sort of players, you know, they had tremendous players, but they hadn't the success to match it. And I was asked would I go there in, in 91, and uh, after consideration I did, you know. I had spent uh, five good years, I suppose, in St. Flannan's College, and I did a lot of hurling there and learnt a lot about hurling there, so I felt maybe I owed them something, you know, and I went back there. I'm not saying I get them a lot now, but I get them for my years anyway, and brought them on a bit. Yeah, but it is important, isn't it, that it, it goes around if it's just... You know, Cork and Tip dominating, it's not great for the province. Without a doubt, you know, that, that's what brings the freshness into the game, and that's what the game is all about, that everyone gets their chance. And uh, Clare, you know, they came there in 95 and 97 with Gerald McNair in charge, and it was great to see them, and to see the newcomers in there, and to see them challenging. And that's what, one of the great things about Munster Hurling, that there's five counties there, yeah. at the start of any year, they all feel they can win that Munster Championship, and that's what makes it great. All right, so we've... Kerry represented here as well, as you point out. Thanks, then. Well, coming up, lots more Munster hurling memories. But after the break, it's today's two big matches Dublin versus Kilkenny in the Leinster hurling final, and Cork versus Limerick in the Munster final. Decided. Stay with us.